I have asked to cut off from my senior brother, the firstborn of our family, recently, okay. about a month ago. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yes, for something very simple but strange. Okay. Our father um, fell sick in the last one year now. He's been down with stroke. I'm sorry. But he lives somewhere in Ondo State. Okay. And uh, for reason best known to him, our firstborn has refused to go and see my father, at least to go and greet him. Okay. The annoying part is that he is in traveling to this same town, okay. but he has refused to get home and greet our father. Okay. And I'm asking him, what is the problem? This man invested in you more than every one of us. Because okay. when things were good, things were rosy, mm. you are the firstborn. He established you several times. Mm. Even when you begin to have children, this mm. man will adopt your children, train them to university level. Okay. You don't know how your children were growing up. Mm. Now, the wife is marrying. I don't know the kind of um, relationship they have, very toxic one. Okay. But the woman keeps going different places. I said, is it that you've gone somewhere, they've told you that your father is the one behind your predicament? Mm. Because to him, he's not living well the way he should be. Things are not good for him. He lives in his own house there mm. in the Korodu. I don't know what else he wants, but mm. he believes his life is not good enough. Mm. I said, is it that they told you that this man is the one doing you? Or what, is, what exactly is the problem? His friend told me that he came to that same town. And I was like, wait, he came to that town and he didn't visit my dad? What has this man done for you? That my dad is worried. That what has happened to your brother? Why has he not come to greet me? We mm. should tell him if anything has happened to him. I said, no, nothing has happened to him. Mm. So and I told, he liked to call me and tell me things. And I told him last month, mm -hmm. if you don't go home and greet our father, let him see you. He's not asking him anything from you. He's comfortable. You have two houses over there. Mm. If you don't go and do the needful, mm. don't ever talk to me again. Wow. He called me last week. I told him the same thing. And he said, okay, that's the end. I don't want to hear from him again. And I don't regret it. Because he needs to tell me what exactly has my father done mm. that he has refused to go and greet him. He's down with stroke. Hmm. Goodness, I'm I'm sorry you're going through that. Um, have you ha have you tried to find out from him why? What what reason did he give? Up till three days, my wife was angry with me that I shouldn't have talked to him that way three days ago. I mm. said, let him tell me what has happened. What has my father done? Mm. As far as I know, my dad did. He has not ever done half of what he had done for him. He didn't do it for others because he was the firstborn. He refused to continue his school. My father kept establishing him, mm. not once, not twice. Mm. He squandered it. He was marrying different women. He gave birth from eight days old. My father took over the children. Mm. They are graduates now, twins. The third child, my father paid till she finished school. Mm. What has this man done to you now? He's not even asking more. At least show care. This is your father. Oh. You are the firstborn of the family. And he has not opened his mouth. The annoying part is that he went to that same town mm -hmm. and he refused to get home to greet my father. Then I have to tell him, no, this is the end of it. If you're not going to tell me what is happening, if you're not going to tell us the problem, mm -hmm. then don't. I don't want to have anything to do with you again.